somehow this is just one of those maps that I always see it and I go, oh yeah, that's like so fun. I should be playing more Lunar Mining Facility. And then for whatever reason, when I go to make a video, I'm just like, I don't know. What's even the point? Why would I do that when there's other stuff? I don't know. It feels like it's just a slightly overshadowed map, but this is what we're doing today. It's Lunar Mining Facility. So we're on the moon. There's some facilities. We're doing some mining and that uh, we're doing progressive capitals. And in the past, I think I've only done this as like a fixed um, sort of map. So I figured let's try it out. And usually the first time I try something, I like to do it without fog just so we can see how people like to try to play these positions. Maybe there'll be a bunch of noobery. Maybe everybody will be a grandmaster and will stalemate. I don't know. But let's get uh, let's get down to business and uh, see what we're going to be able to get going over here. So I pick only orange picks after me. Gotta hope that they're going here. <laughs> I think down here is what calls to me, but I'm going to go right here. Red's going to hit this 100%, right? But we got to get as close to the Tycho Psychopath as possible, even though it's progressive. So this is not a fixed game. Uh, on April 1st of this year, me and a bunch of other content creators, we all put out videos with the same title. It was Risk Just Changed Forever. And we were playing this map, but fixed <laughs> caps with true random dice and a bunch of bots. And it was like, oh, you know, just a whole bunch of silly stuff. But uh, today we're taking this map a little bit more seriously, okay? Lunar Mining Facility. It's a cool map. I really like it. It's it's choky in a bunch of ways. And blizzards like this can really, I don't know, it creates, it chokes the map kind of in half. It's not really fair because uh, sometimes some people might just get like an insane god spawn. So it's not like a competitively amazing cap or something. Yes, this is the whole reason I went here. Orange decides to go in the middle. <laughs> He's the noob in the middle, baby. <laughs> because in my head, you guys, I'm already 14 steps ahead of you. Uh, I am going to have all of this. And you're looking at a big blue thumbnail up here. Okay. What? You don't see it? Okay. Well, what, you didn't look at the thumbnail? It's this. Me with three caps in the super noob corner. Because this is the noob corner, man. <laughs> this is the, the Tycho Psychopath. <laughs> if you have it, you got to go for it. So Orange knows. Orange knows the meta, baby. And it uh, looks like purple will have a one-point hold on the drilling plant over here, which is a plus three. Purple today is a uh, claw. Looks like we're going to get a little three on two. Okay, I think this is going to be a fun one. I, I don't know what's going to happen. If we're doing three on twos and we're slamming big stacks, I'm just saying we might be in for a good, <laughs> good old-fashioned game of risk, baby. Defend the capital. Incredible move. Incredible play. Now, Shenna game or Shenagami... Might slam this on turn number one. <laughs> no, it looks like he's not going to. He might try to go for this bonus, which is a huge one. This is the plus six headquarters. But yellow basically spawned with all of the living quarters, which is a plus four. So, yeah. Okay. Oh, he's going to defend his... Okay, we found a real gamer. Nope. We're leaving two. It's... Bro, it's balanced blitz, bro. You don't leave twos in balanced blitz. That's... The oh, no. He's a two on two gamer. Oh, we have a two-on-two -two gamer in the house tonight. No way. <laughs> and then he didn't get a card. He's going to try a two-on-two -two next time. Here comes... Or Wait, what are you doing, Yellow? Oh, what are they doing? What is Yellow going for? Oh, my God. Harake, what are you doing, bro? Take your bonus. You had enough troops to take your bonus. Why didn't you take it? Why are <laughs> oh, that oh, is the plus four not good enough? You need a plus seven? White's over here, bro. And none of that is going back to your capital. Why was that the way that you thought that you should do it? <laughs> Let's get slammed. Let's have fun. Let's slam some stuff, man. Let's get slamity jamity, baby. But we will put some troops on our capital, okay? But double slam, massive over attack. Let's let's be a little crazy with it, okay? Just a little bit, not like, you know, just a little bit. To have a little bit of fun when we play our video games. Now, is Orange going to just try to... What is his plan? <laughs> Illinad? What's his plan? Just take it, right? He's just going to take it and then, I guess, see if I break him or something. <laughs> I can break him much more easily than red. So he gets red out from behind. Cool. Our cap is the weakest of these three. <laughs> Do you think red would let me hold this? He seems like a nice guy. Shenagame? Shenagami? Seems nice. I don't know what it means. Hopefully that's not a bad word in Japanese or something. But <laughs> it seems nice. Okay. Purple has this. Now, this is progressive, so card blocking in the endgame becomes very possible. So in late term, this is going to be a pretty, pretty atrocious capital, but we'll see. We'll see if we even make it there. I'm just going to take my bonus and uh, 
let white, who is risking a five on two, instead of a six on two, which is 100%. <laughs> I think I'm just going to anticipate white is going to let me hold and black. I cannot imagine white breaking me or red breaking me. I'm just going to take my bonus. And I think I'll just hold it. <laughs> I don't think anybody will have any issues. I think we all got the memo. Good neighbor theory. It's the only way to play risk. Go ahead and stack that right on me or go down here randomly. Yeah, I mean, white's probably cool with it, right? I should be able to just have a plus four. And I'm sure red will see that as being reasonable. <laughs> a two on two, perhaps. We'll see if red manages to get a card. Oh my God, they added to their capital. They get a card exterior. That's some grandmaster level stuff. He's trying to keep up an exterior. Oh, that's one of them. Okay. <laughs> we have a we have a good chance at getting one of those caps. <laughs> we got a very good shot. Now white is gonna have a lot though, right? White's gonna have like nine or something. So I have to defend against white coming to steal this. Uh, but I go before orange, so I should be able to get this capital. Unless yellow wants it. Oh no, don't get yellow involved. There's a lot of danger in trying to hold two caps here. Oh my god, yellow's gonna take it. No. <laughs> Go to orange. Hit orange, too. Nine on five. Just give it a whirl. Just give it a whirl. <laughs> nah, okay. Well played. Yeah, so he hardly... So red should be able to come steal this, right? It's not what is happening. All right, I'm a sensible man. This is my bonus. Cool. That's just my bonus. If you guys don't mind, it's just my bonus. I'll indicate by leaving a two that I actually want to hold that bonus. No need for yellow or white to mess with me. It's just my bonus, okay? I bet you anything, Orange takes this now. I bet he does a five on three, eight on two. He gets really weak. Maybe Yellow slams him. Maybe that's how I win all of this. Maybe he overattacks this too, and then Yellow slams him <laughs> in order to break the bonus. And then I get to keep my bonus, and I just steal all these caps. No, he's going to be safe with it. For a guy trapped behind a lot of caps, Orange is playing sensibly enough. <laughs> it's enough. Maybe if I was back here, I think honestly I would be not taking any of these cards. I'd be just doing everything exterior. But like he's, he's playing sensibly enough. Hey, Purple got a bonus. Congratulations. That's uh, eight troops for them. I bet that they start working on this next one. This is the Helium 3 processing. This is what we're mining out here in the moon. Uh, or they're going to remove me. Okay. I do have a bonus. I am the greatest threat. Okay. You have identified the greatest threat to your game. Well played. But, uh, looks like this is what we're doing out here, right? So we got like a little drilling plant and then we're, we're mining this helium three. This is where we process the helium three. It goes right in this little storage bay. The engineers work on it. We got a little headquarters, you know, we're all like, this is where all the spaceships are and stuff. White is cool. No way. <laughs> White's a good neighbor. White doesn't, white's a good neighbor. Wow, ocean blocker. Yeah, he just wants more bonuses. And I'm down with it, man. I'm down with it. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> I hope I never need to get a card here. Cool. <laughs> it's my bonus. Of course it is. Of course it's my bonus. White nose, look how friendly they are. Wow, white is so friendly. <laughs> what are we doing out in space? Helium 3. I think I've mentioned this before because I looked it up some time ago. Nice try, Red. Why didn't Red not try to steal this cap? I don't understand. Um, it's for, like, nuclear stuff, right? Like, so if, if it's, like, a, a cheaper nuclear alternative, no way this guy is also good neighbor. Like, literally no way. <laughs> um, so that's what we're, we're up here mining. So I assume, like, what's, what's really going on? Okay, we're all good neighbor. Cool. Everybody got the memo. Good neighbor is the only way to play. Um... I don't, I don't trust it, man. I don't trust it. I think that we were probably told, they're like, hey, you're an astronaut. You're also like some engineer. We got like a great deal for you. You are going to be sent out into outer space. We're going to need you to do some mining, okay? Helium-3, it's, it's just a cheap, flexible alternative to nuclear power. But I know what they really want, okay? They're not here to actually save the Earthlings. We're not doing this for them. We're doing this for like a big corporation. I'm not buying the big lie that this map is selling, okay? I know you're just trying to make nukes to start an Earth war or a space war. I don't know. You can't fool me, but uh, I don't know. I just got kind of roped into this job. I'm not sure why I'm I'm out here on the moon, <laughs> but I'm just, I know I'm working for like a greedy, terrible corporation that's <laughs> just like, it's working us to death. The hours out here on the moon, 
They're insane. Okay, orange gets card blocked. Hilarious. <laughs> so purple is like smart. They like card blocked orange. They're not massively noobishly over attacking. They're definitely, <laughs> they're definitely removing the orange exteriors. But I like, I've said it before and I'll say it again, man. Like if I don't understand the, like the role play, the <laughs> like whatever, and if I don't understand the plot of a map, it's really hard to do, right? Like, I don't know. Like, I, I just need to understand the plot of this map, <laughs> which is that we're on the moon, right? We're getting helium-3, we're on the moon, we're drilling for helium-3. That, that's obviously and clearly the plot of this map. But I think maybe I've been, I've been role-playing a little bit too hard, because something actually recently happened in my life. <laughs> I just, like, it woke me up like, hey, man, maybe I gotta stop IRL role-playing so much, because... <laughs> The other day, we were at the park with my kids, and there's a, a really big swing at our park. It's very cool, uh, and it can fit quite a lot of kids. It can fit, like, three kids at a time. Yeah, that's a good fortify. Um, and uh, my daughter ran up. There was my daughter, who is seven. She ran up to a big kid. I don't know, 10, something like that. And uh, she ran up to this big kid and <laughs> she she ran up to a kid on the swing. She put one eye over her, she put one hand over her eyes like she was a pirate. She held one hand up in the air like it was like she was holding a sword or something. She said, arg ye scallywag, <laughs> this here be a mutiny. And then she jumped on the swing and she started like pulling on the rope to like try to get the big kid to hop off. And I was like, oh no, we gotta, we gotta stop pretending to be pirates, man. This, <laughs> I don't know. My daughter is trying to cause a mutiny on the local playground swing, man. But turns out everything was quite all right after uh, the kid actually seemed to like it and they made it like a fun game. But I'm like, man, that's like a big boy that you're messing with. I was <laughs> like, man, I would have been I would have been scared. I would have been scared. Like, I'm just I don't know, man. Maybe one day my daughter will wake up and realize, you know, who's like really scary in this world? It's like boys, man. Like, be a little more afraid. They're terrifying. <laughs> You're just, you're such an innocent little girl, man. Be afraid, be very afraid, okay? Uh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm even, I don't know what I'm saying most of the time. I would also like to keep this position if it's at all possible, if you guys don't mind. I'll take a card down here. I'll just be chilling next to yellow's bonus, but also trying to stay out of white's way if they want to come and do some crazy wild stuff. I don't really know. Um, yeah, I think orange is going to try to steal this capital. Okay, this is my moment. No, how do you not go for it? Come on. Orange didn't want to die. No, go for it now when the trades are still a little bit low. Come on, man. I thought that was it. I thought orange was going to slam and then I was coming in. Dang. <laughs> but anyways, that's the story. Uh, oh, was that the end of red? I didn't even. Oh, could I have just killed red? Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Red's been dead for a while. Oh, well, hope purple doesn't want this bonus. Hope I'm allowed to stay in here. That makes sense. <laughs> Break him again. Yeah, cool, 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 cool. Why am I allowed a bonus? Why are these guys fighting? What's going on? Cool. Am I allowed to get cards <laughs> somewhere? I don't know what's happening out here, man. This is wild stuff. But uh, turns out I'm not going to be winning the super noob corner. At least not immediately. Not if Orange is doing this. I need the Orange to slam just so I can get my, my thumbnail, man. Then I can play the rest of the game. Like, these guys are going to just kill each other. But I need, the, I need my thumbnail. Come on. Anyways, that's why I will now be nuts. I will, I will, I will no longer be IRL roleplay. I, we can't do the pirate stuff anymore, guys. I'm sorry to say. <laughs> my online pretending to be a pirate stuff is leading to IRL disaster, okay? It's just, we got we to gotta simmer down. Yeah, that's good. Fortify yet again. <laughs> White's, White, White, White's struggling with the fortifies. Okay. No big deal, though. No sweat. No sweat. Look, I'll knock purple out. White, we can just trade in here. It's going to be real cool. You and me, White, we'll just trade in here. We're friendly. We've been friendly the whole time. Yellow turns in early. What are they doing with that trade? Why did they turn in early? Why? Not my three. <laughs> okay. So yellow does hate me. They're just not willing to break me and open up my capital. But they do hate me. All right. It's fine. Like, what do I... Bro, you just... Whatever. What do you care? What do you even care? Okay, I'm not turning in. It seems fine to me. Okay, we'll just get our card over here. I'm sure white will be very enthused because now we just have trading. Look at pink. They're bl they're blocked almost. They're almost blocked. Now's your chance. Do it. <laughs> Go for it. Get it. 
What if Orange gets second place? What if Orange outplays me? What if Orange lives longer than me? How did the guy that capped between two... Ca he's just like, all right, I accept. Yeah, I got card blocked. Like, what to do? Orange just got card blocked, and he's like, yeah, what what could you, what could be done? I don't know. <laughs> I'll just I'll accept it and let you guys all fight. <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah. So now Purple has five cards, and so necessarily needs to hit this 10. So what is White going to do? <laughs> Purple definitely is getting a card here. So what's white gonna do? They're gonna blast yellow. And then you might as well break them. Yeah, forget them. Get them over here too. Do you think white knows that purple is gonna get a card here? <laughs> do you think they're paying attention? They're not gonna put that 11 here. That'd be a sick move though. Put the 11 here <laughs> and then maybe purple doesn't quite have enough. I don't know. It's gonna be close though. Cause they do have a bonus and a trade. Yeah, it'd be close. Keep going. All right, you're just gonna keep hitting purple. So white and I are friends. Wait, I'm gonna. Where do you think I'm gonna get a card? Wait, <clears throat> come on. I'm not giving it to Orange. I'm taking a card in here, bro. Don't make me hit a three. What's <laughs> this is where I'm trading with you? Come on. All right, I'm gonna hit your three and not break your bonus. I hope you don't mind. So, yellow must be pretty mad at white. White currently has three bonuses <laughs> five, four, seven. That seems fair to me. Like, I, I, I got seriously no issue with it, but I do need to hit this three in order to get a card, okay? So that's just definitely going to happen. Eight on five. Gets it. Okay, well played. Might as well break the bonus because you're clearly at war. Cool. White is going to get a turn in and probably steal this capital. How is white doing so well? <laughs> White's like fighting every... Wow, gives up this cap. What a play. What a play. It's hard for me to get over there. Or, are you giving up the cap? Like, what... What are you doing over there? The small filter, get get toed, okay? Get get some extra troops. Look, we're we're very sensible when it when it comes to these settings. I believe in sensibility, which is why I'll be inviting white to like card block purple, which is never gonna happen. <laughs> Just like everybody can hold everything. Like, what do I care? Get him, slam. How is how is orange the next highest rated player of all these players? Orange is like the highest rated. <laughs> After the cap choice, I would not have thought it. Now this goes into white, right? My 10 gets to stay? Tell me my 10 gets to stay. Cool. And you double break white? No, my 10 does not get to stay. So purple, who also tried to card block orange, is now trying to do the same to me. Joke's on you, though. I'm a grandmaster, and I know how to card block. This point, right here. <laughs> it's right here. This is the block on purple. I see it. Now, white will understand that I clearly need to run through here. Like, obviously. Like, obviously, white will just simply understand. That I desperately need to come in here because I'm definitely not giving Orange a card. What if I gave Orange a card and he slammed into me? That'd be crazy. So White goes into purple <clears throat> and probably leaves a bunch of like random stuff everywhere. Okay. Just stay there or give purple a bunch of cards. Either way, either way. Huh. Cool. I'm going to help you, White. Now, I have to go through your bonus. Don't take too much offense to it, okay? But I, I just, I, I, I have to desperately kind of go through so that I can go fight purple, okay? I don't want to give orange a card. And white, you're just going to have to understand. You're just going to have to understand. I only need to break one bonus. Not much more than that. Just one. Okay, and yellow is also going to be fighting white. I think white will, I think white will still appreciate the times that we had. Maybe yellow thought this all connected. But it looks like that's probably going to go right here. I don't know what white's going to do with a big turn in. I got no idea. <laughs> They're not leaving enough here that like purple can't get a card. Okay. Well, this is where I'm going to get my card. Is yellow going to hit that? Yeah, probably. Probably. <laughs> but you can have the other one. You can have this bonus. You can have anything else. I just want to come this way so I can go fight purple, okay? Just get over it. Please don't use your turn in to hit my 11 and break me. Look, you got to fight all these other people, bro. I'm the most friendly. Of anybody, I'm the most friendly. Now, white is allowing purple to get cards. Because probably white doesn't know how to card block. That would just be my genuine guess. Or, I don't know, they're a genius. Let's card block purple. You and me both. I'll leave a stack here so that we can get cards. White, you leave a stack in the ore storage. Where we stare the ore, the ore, the helium-3 ore. Are there ores of helium-3? I guess so. I, I guess an ore can be anything, right? Now, definitely, don't break me. <laughs> definitely... Leave a stack here, and then I'll come, and I'll leave a stack in the isotope lab. And then we'll both trade on the emergency eggs. Or just kill purple, even better. But, like, you're... Are you gonna... You're not, or feed purple. <laughs> feed purple. Feed it! Yeah, beautiful play. Beautiful play. 
<laughs> I like white. I like white. I like where their head's at. Now, do I have a trade? I do. It's 25. Can I kill purple? Because I also take umbrage with everything that they've ever done. And yellow is going to keep fighting white. I like orange's chances, to be honest. So what I'm going to try to do is kill purple. And then I'm going to try to work with white to vanquish yellow. Because white's going to need the extra help. <laughs> but they're also kind of crazy and willing to throw all their troops away. So I want to help white. Me and white were homies. They didn't, you know, break my bonus on this exact occasion. So here we go. Let's see if I can do what white failed to do. Which is to come here. <laughs> we will leave four. I don't think we need to be do anything but that. And we're going to come right down. And we're going to leave four down here. And then all the rest are going into this. Boop. And then... I don't know, just 11 seems insanely reasonable. And uh, I will be the one that eliminates purple. And I take another bonus. Excellent. I feel fantastic about it. <clears throat> I'll be ending on five cards here. Uh, the Tycho Path. I got the Tycho Path. Okay, we got to save the Tycho Path plus two for when we have the Tycho Path. 25 is absurd. Oh no, I need one more back here. And then... Very mysterious fortify, but it's important. It was crucial. It had to be done. You can understand. I know you know you got the six in the corner. Foolish. You got to defend against this blizzard. It's the moon. On the moon, you don't think people can go through a blizzard? Oh, wait, that's not how risk works. Oh, was I just making a funny number? Oh. All right, we'll see how white responds. Take all these bonuses and then go fight yellow, man. <laughs> just whatever, leave me alone. <laughs> ah, okay, you want that bonus? My apologies. You want the storage bay? No problem. That's for you. That's yours. That's absolutely yours. This is yours, too. We need to trade somewhere. That's what I'm concerned that you don't understand. Ah, uh, We got to trade in my bonus? All right, that's fine. I don't care what you're doing, White. I really don't. <laughs> I actually hope that he opens up my cap, because then I can eliminate White at some point. So White is going to get themselves killed here. Uh, let's see if Yellow Psycho goes for it. I really wish he opened up my 69, because then we could just, like, kill White. But we'll see what happens. We do have a trade-in. We can't kill white, though, unless my stack gets open. I didn't set up to kill white at all. I see him as friendly. So too bad white does not see me as friendly. <laughs> what? I'm going to let white hold this boat. Like, I, I literally don't care. You can have, like, a plus five whatever, man. <laughs> like, literally don't care. All right, I'm just going to not trade in. I'm going to mostly buff this. Just going to go right here, friendly style. Okay, now I'm going to pull the six in. And uh, we will see. White, you, extra troops, you might send them in to me. I am like the biggest. So sometimes when you're in White's position, you just attack the biggest guy. But I'm just not going to flinch. I'm just going to be like, that's fine. It's cool. If you want to fight me, fine. If you fight me for the whole time, Yellow will eventually come up and have to steal your capital. <laughs> yellow only has like three cards before they have to break through here. So Yellow's coming to get you. If you want to fight me, I think it's just bad play. But like, whatever, man. I've been mostly friendly. We can trade right here. I, I got a great... Yeah, this is actually perfect. You get this bonus. Like, I'm not breaking. I've done nothing to you. Just just take here. And let's, why don't we trade in the safety gate? This is like a safe area for trading. Why don't you try to card block me but fail? <laughs> That's fine. Cool. That's your bonus. Oh, my God. You're doing it again? <laughs> okay. He always clicks the... Ca he, he doesn't... He gets the fortify mixed up every time. It's it's kind of funny, but... Uh, <laughs> it, always, it always looks like he's going to fortify off his cap, but that's never what's happening. Um, yellow is doing pretty good, I suppose. Sounds good. But yellow only has these three cards, and then they necessarily need to go into white. So if I were white, and blue was being very nice to me, probably just be very nice back. Because I'm going to let him have it. Like, literally... Not concerned. Literally don't care. <laughs> Just fine. You want to trade in here? This is fine. We can trade in here. Completely fine. Please don't trade with yellow. That would be messed up. If because at any point I could always trade with orange. I don't know. I don't know how deep white is thinking in it. But if they infinitely trade with yellow, I can infinitely trade with orange, and we've done it. We finally stalemate this game. But in my mind, it makes sense to never give orange a card so that they die and whatever. But <laughs> all right, cool. Very friendly white is going to give me a, a slightly expensive card as a little bit of a joke. Okay, no problem. He's a little bit of a, a joker. It's just, <laughs> he's going to card block me, but I have five cards. So at least he's hitting me and not yellow. This is fine. We can trade here. 
It's more friendly if you let me hit a one, but we'll hit a four, whatever. <laughs> it's kind of weird to me. Okay, cool. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is very friendly behavior by white. Definitely not weird noob stuff. It's vastly beyond my comprehension. Cool. Okay. It's just, that's very nice of you. Okay, that's, no, that's, that's pretty well done. <laughs> He's on five cards. So you know yellow has to get this capital, right? You do understand. You understand that yellow is trying to steal your capital. Just you understand, right? I just want to make sure, white, that we're on the same page. Because it almost feels like you don't even see it coming. <laughs> it's, it's almost like you're trying to aggress me, not understanding that yellow is about to slam into you. But I know white must be a better player than that. There's just no way that's what's happening. So I'm just going to casually get my card. No big deal. Put my troops on my capital. And, like, you're very close to dead, White. So I'd recommend being friendly with me, but I wouldn't expect it. I've let White hold all the votes. Like, I don't even care. I'm not even breaking White. Like, I could kill White, but I just... It's funnier that he just doesn't see Yellow sneaking up. Yellow with a trade in. <laughs> He's just... Yellow's gonna steal your cap and kill you. <laughs> you fighting me, you're just gonna die. It doesn't... <laughs> I, I love how it doesn't make any sense, but you're gonna fight me, right? <laughs> you're gonna put all these troops into me. So there you go. Yes. Defend against Yellow. Yellow's blocked. Yellow's gonna have to open my... Urr. You gave Yellow a card. <gasps> you evil devil. You gave Yellow... Look at all these cards that are friendly giving to Yellow. <laughs> definitely not breaking all the Yellow's bonuses because they don't know what to do. They're definitely... Very friendly giving Yellow a lot of cards. All right. Yellow, who was very narrowly card blocked, has escaped. <laughs> White. Oh, gosh. I don't have a trade in. Okay. White can't defend all of the capitals. <laughs> They're going to go back to this one, obviously. And then Yellow with five cards. Might be able to get them. All right. We're very close to winning this game. Winning this game is, I guess, I kill White. And then both Yellow and Orange are, like, card blocked. Wait, that would be sick. <laughs> Imagine I killed white and I have this cap and then I just have a stack on security sector. Yellow and orange would both be card blocked. Oh, that'd be, that'd be wild. But oh, white gives up this cap, but yellow wants it all. <laughs> I need a trade. I just need a trade before white and we'll be able to kill him. I could leave a bunch off my cap recklessly as if orange isn't secretly hiding a trade and as if yellow's not going to get a trade and try to hit me. I guess it's like, it's very possible. I got this 41 I could also use. All right, so we want to kill white, obviously. Yellow is going to take all of this. Yellow might get to this cap, but then they're not able to get all of white out. All right, by hitting this, now they're just definitely not going to make it there. But if we eliminate white and then card block two players at once, it's going to be epic. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping for. Doesn't go straight for the cap. Because they're risking a two-on-one instead. They're 100% going to do it. They didn't do it. I'm very surprised. Okay. I'll be taking a card down here. And uh, if I get a trade in, I'll be able to kill white. Really? Not too, uh, not too bothered by it. <laughs> Just to be honest, not too bothered by it. Okay. I'll get some trade and be able to kill white. Hopefully. Please. No, I can't kill white. Oh, <laughs> oh man. If I kill white, it's so, like, if I can kill white and win this camp on the next turn, like, it's just, it's such a beautiful win, too. But it's not going to be happening. Maybe white has a turn in first anyway. So that's what we're trying to do. But now it's just not going to work. Unless white ends on four and yellow somehow can't kill him either. It's like white's going to be fighting me. Okay, they don't want to give yellow, a, or they're going to hit both of us. Wait, what? That's a human? Okay. White decides to... F oh, because he just wants this bonus. No, that's fine. You can have the bonus. Okay, my bad. I forgot that that one was yours. I Storage bay is yours. Of course it is. I'm sorry, I forgot. So you can have the storage bay. Do all your storing. Now, what would make this a little bit easier is if you, like, let me hit a one. Like, <laughs> just saying. Like, if you let me hit a one, it'd be just, like, a little bit nicer. You can have your bonus. You can defend this one? You do. Okay. You're so lucky I don't have a trade. You're so lucky, White. If I have a trade, we kill White, and then we're in insta insta card block on yellow. Ah, oh. but yellow also doesn't trade in. Okay, should be the end of their turn, but who knows how much they're going to continue to attack. Um, like I hate to break your bonus and whatever, bro, but like just need a. 
card and you're not giving me easy cards. <laughs> so all right. Maybe I get a trade before white and we kill him. Does he trade? Okay, but first orange. Orange is doing pretty well. A lot more troops than white. I can tell you that. <laughs> uh, so orange is just mad chilling. What if orange has a trade? Wouldn't that be sick? <laughs> Wouldn't it be really sick if he just suddenly like woke up and slammed into yellow at some random point? Does white have a turn in? Do I have a trade on five? Yes, this time I do. Very lucky for me. No trade in? Oh, you're dead. Oh, no. No trade? For real? Oh, no. 50 should be enough. It's 63 troops, though. Hang on. Maybe it's not enough. Ah. Oh. He's just... He, white is smart enough to not open me. He's gonna take back the bonus and then also hit yellow randomly. So hopefully yellow turns in but feeds the kill. That would be the most glorious. Yellow turning in so that they finish on only two cards and then not... And then hitting white enough that I can kill white, but then not actually killing them themselves is just like, it's very humorous to me. And it's how I hope that this game concludes itself. So yellow could turn in and make a giant mistake. Let us see if that's how it goes down. They do turn in. So 72 troops to take out 59, but there's a capital and there's a bunch of splitting. So it's a difficult elimination. I expect yellow will at least get this 10 cap, but do they stop there or do they keep going? Oh, they keep the kill guard. Ah, oh, that's pretty smart. You just leave four here and then you like, you're gonna try for it. You leave six. Okay, same idea, but you don't kill white. You're gonna let me kill white and you do have this cap, which is huge. Okay, that's actually pretty well played. Oh, well played, yellow, well played. But I do get the elimination now. So that's just, yeah, this is pretty easy elimination for me. Unless we get really bad dice like that. Hang on. Three on ten, three on ten. No, it's a waste. Those three, these soldiers, they got nothing to do with this. Those are the dice, baby. Those are the dice. And now yellow will necessarily need to trade with me until I card block yellow, I suppose. I have no idea how yellow is going to play this, but we'll... We're moments away from finding out. <laughs> so that's a lot. I'm not strong enough to steal Yellow's cap, right? Definitely not. So here's what you do. They're not turning in. You hit them with one of these. And now they're going to be, like, card blocked. <laughs> so you hit them with one of these. You go, you go right here. No. You actually just go right here. No, that's not what you're supposed to do. Ah, shoot. What I need is for yellow to open up my big stack so I can go hit this capital. <laughs> I need them to hit the three so I can steal this cap and then their card blocked. Because uh, I do have a trade. But yellow might be able to get a card on the 21. And then I don't know if I'll be strong enough to steal the cap. And also yellow has time to bring troops from here back over. Orange trades in and slams yellow. That'd be hilarious. But my goal is to win at least this cap. And then start card blocking yellow. And there's no real way for yellow and orange to work. Because um, even if yellow moves out of the way so orange can take this cap, I can steal this capital. So there's no way for yellow and orange to work together. Yellow is getting, arguably, a lot of troops to start their turn. But, like, so am I. <laughs> They're getting 30. I must be getting something huge, too. I got a lot of bonuses myself. Get the 21. Yeah, so yellow is, like, kind of smart with it. Now, hopefully they go here and open up the 61. Ah, they're going to try to card block me. Foolishly, they do open me up. Okay, cool. So now we're open to go try to steal. Oh, no, they're going to open up this? No way. No way you no way you open up the 130. Yellow hates cards passionately. <laughs> Are you going to open up my 130? Then I'm, I'm definitely hitting you with the 130. And then they bring more back to here. Okay. Curious. I, I just didn't did not expect that exactly. Okay. Um. Completely fine. Completely fine behavior. Oh, so they are trying to give this cap to orange. I see. I see. So they're trying to give this cap to orange, which we cannot allow. Okay. So we we really don't want that to happen. We're gonna need to fortify some more back. Okay. I see. So yellow is hoping that orange comes to their rescue. Um, that actually is probably fine for now. And then we're going to put, like, a bunch here. 
Okay. Honestly, I'd say that's fine. Hopefully Orange doesn't have a secret trade. <laughs> if Orange has a secret trade, then that's, I guess, humorous. So interesting try by Yellow. But uh, we will see. If I get another trade, the goal now is to card block Yellow, and then both players are kind of card blocked. And then we get to kind of have our choice for who we decide to maybe work with. So Orange is thinking about it. Do I use my turn in? 70? Do you try a 180 on 102? Not yet. The fact that they're thinking makes me think that they might actually have a trade. Like, what if yellow? What if orange is like a strong player? Hopefully, they slam me. Oh my god, they just feed themselves, feed me three cards, bro. And definitely not to yellow. <laughs> orange is asking for the capital. Okay, uh, no, <laughs> I'm gonna say no. orange wants to trade with me. Oh my god, he wants to trade with me. He's gonna go back off his capital. <laughs> He's gonna go back. What are you doing? That's such a psycho move. He's like, hey, <laughs> that'd be so. I just would kill you. <laughs> be so silly. So how does yellow handle this situation? They do have a turn in and they use it early. So they're going to break my bonus. And if I had to guess, they're interested in this 45 capital. Just if I had to guess, it would be my... But now it's a little bit easier to potentially card block yellow because they have turned in. This is phenomenal. They only lose 37. Okay, that's horrendous. But if I had to guess, they're going to hit another capital on this turn. Just it's the way that I feel is going down. So yellow is going to try to take all these bonuses. Okay, no big deal. No big deal. They're going to try to clear me all out of here. Not my drilling plants. My drilling plants. Not my plus three. They're going to come in. They're going to sweep out all of this. How strong is this going to be? I'm basically going to be able to take yellow out of this side. And we're just kind of trading, except for they're hitting capitals. They lose 88. That's excellent. I will get a trade before them. Not this turn, but soon. And this cap is significantly worse than this one. Because it's just silly. It's in the corner. It's silly. Corners are for silly billies. I would never go in the corner. It's just not the kind of guy that I am. Johnny gets cornered? Absolutely not. You would never hear me say that. Um, okay. So let's just go ahead and... We know they don't have a trade. So let's let's take a bunch of stuff here. Because we know that they don't have a trade. So let's clean yellow all the way out of here. Um, shouldn't need to defend... Much more than that. If Orange tries to come in with their secret trade, I mean, let it be done. <laughs> Orange with the secret trade, here they come. It's been here the whole time. Orange slams me, they die first. And <laughs> yellow is very narrowly dead. Orange decides this is the moment. No. Okay. And now we should be able to easily card block yellow because they're going to end here on two cards. Yellow is actually voted most likely to bot out next. Not my plus three. All right, looks like they're going to be focused on this plus three. But this decision to go to here was, in my opinion, uh, very bad. <laughs> this one is much more flexible, and you can keep it open and set up a card block. And this one's already trapped in a corner. But you do get a plus three. So, you know, there, there is some upside over there. Wonderful. All right. Wonderful, wonderful. We're crushing yellow. We got double their troops. We do have a trade. I do want to make sure orange doesn't do anything like, you know super sneaky and weird but man i also just want to clean yellow full out of here which is just like obviously the super duper one you know what here's how you here's how you balance it all whatever's there goes back to defend against orange and this is going to come just like that it's obviously going to work yellow is going to be denied another card um actually that's fine right there as it is could go for more bonuses but i'm going to clean yellow out of here and i'm gonna defend very mildly against orange okay i'm just letting orange know i haven't forgotten about you i know you i know you got your sneaky secret trade that nobody knows about and uh i just have a bunch of cards down here one two three four five i get five more cards orange is like oh man i really want to do something you're the Tycho psycho man you went behind two people now's your shot now you decide to die <laughs> you decide right now that you're gonna i don't need your cards bro if you want second, you just sit there. All you got to do is sit there and let me mock you for being the Tycho Psycho that literally did nothing all game. Like, that, all you got to endure is, like, some mild mockery and you get second place. <laughs> well played. Well played, okay? Your genius strategy of capping behind two people and doing literally nothing is going to pay off for you, okay? He's saying victory, okay? I know. The victory for me. If you hit me, bro... <laughs> now he's like, please, second. <laughs> okay. I get it. You're higher ranked than yellow. You played a better game, okay? 
Nobody is doubting you, Orange. You played a better game than Yellow. Everybody sees it clear. Everybody sees it clear. You've just, you've played phenomenal. Well enough to get second place. All right, so is this guy dead? Um, probably. <laughs> this guy's probably dead. All right, so Yellow, see, all Yellow had to do was nothing and just hope and pray, but like that, that didn't really happen. Now, I don't have to take these cards, but I will. I think what Orange is saying is that they're about to resign. I think that's what they're saying. So let's assume that that is true. And let's put these guys over here. You can slam me. Secret trade in slam attack. <laughs> but it's not going to save you. So uh, good game. No need to stall this one out, please. Consider conceding immediately. Thank you. Very strong play by the Tycho. <clears throat> Wow. Does not even concede. No way. <laughs> dude, didn't he? I got double wild cards on you, dude. Bro didn't even concede. But that's 100%. So, bam! <laughs> Wait, this map is actually kind of sick for progressive caps. Maybe I've been playing this map all wrong, because I thought that was a really fun, uh, interesting game. Obviously, a lot of beginners. I think Orange actually was the highest ranked, though. He was a, no, he's a novice. Well played to the novice getting second place. And if you want to be a novice to get second place, make sure you're subscribed. And I'll see you guys for another video.